Hello, my name is Greplin, and welcome back to let more Let's Challenge Herculeus. Let me get reacquainted with my buttons real quick. And today we're going to be taking care of the first dungeon, and something's happening at the bottom of the screen. That's bugging me. Oh, bugger, that didn't work. There we go. That's fixed. Sorry about that. This is level 1, Spirit's Grave, and we're just going to be tackling this. Really, this is identical to what it would be normally, because you shouldn't really have more than three hearts at this point anyway. And, hold on a second. Yeah, that's better. So I'm going to... As I go through, I'm probably going to, like, explain what different enemies are. Those are just Zoles. If, yeah. This is one of the interesting puzzles. This one's really not a puzzle yet, but there are some of those later that do actually become somewhat of a puzzle. Let's see the dungeon map. It's a flame. Yep. Trying to do that thing from Zelda 1 where every dungeon looks like something. Head this way first. Kill some stuff us and green zoles or I don't know if they're actually zoles or not. It's been a while since I worked on the bestiary for this, so that is a guinea though. I do know that. It's like the one thing I know. That's pretty embarrassing. Now, I really do love this room, though, because this is pretty cool. It's a uh, little cross, so you have to go specific ways to get certain things. Like, for instance, I'm going to go this way. Here's the compass. That was probably loud. Um, shows chests, and you'll note that it shows a room right over here, which... If you look at the stuff on the wall, you burn it. And these crystals are sort of just there to be broken. I don't really know why they made it the crystals, but yeah. This is a ring. I forget which ring this is. I'm not sure if it's actually a random one or not. It might be. Now we're going to put our shield back on. And that jingle is the treasure chest jingle. Or is it the key jingle? One of the two. Key, not treasure chest. Yeah. Okay. It... So, I'm probably going to stop just blatantly talking because I've watched so many Let's Plays where the people just talk and it gets so unearthly boring. And, I don't know, it just seems like doing something interesting would be better. So, I would really appreciate suggestions on that, because no one's original. <laughs> yes, that's my reasoning. Um, like, for instance, I could do a horrible Sean Connery action. I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. Even if you want that, I don't, I don't care. It's not my job. <laughs> Terrible person. Um, the main other reason I'm not going to talk too much about the game... Well, I mean, I'm going to talk about the game, because I'd be dumb not to talk about the game while playing the game, but... Like, describing everything I'm doing, it's kind of dumb. Oh, here's a gaseous seed. You plant those in soil, and eventually they grow big trees, and you cut the nut off the tree, and it gives you stuff. Stuff is good. Th uh, trademark. Stuff is good, trademark. This is the way to the boss. I do remember that. I've played this game enough times. This is the way to the mini-boss. And... 
this thing. Slash. If you can't beat the first mini boss, oh. Yeah, those guys will grab onto you, by the way. And mini bosses drop fairies and leave behind this warp. Which is useful, because when you die, you don't have to walk all the way through the dungeon. Like in Zelda 1. Moblins. These are arrow moblins, I believe. Yeah. Oh, nope, they're boomerang moblins. And key. And the most famous Zelda block push puzzle. I don't know why, it just... It's like, if you've played Zelda, you recognize that. Well, any of the 2D ones, that is. Kill some stealth hose. Press the wrong button again. Yoink, yoink. Staircase of magic. Descend into the Zelda 1-esque item room. I really like the side-scrolling segments in these games. I don't know why, they're just... They just feel nice. Because it just works out really well. Also, I really love the art style in this game, but that's just me being me. So now, I can lift these pots. Yeah! Let's do the pot toss. I have no idea why I'm picking all this up. So you'll notice that I can actually carry this across screens, which is nice. Yeah. Here's the discovery ring. And I know what that ring is simply because I've gotten it so many times. Also, you can push the pots, which is good because picking it up breaks it. Toss. You may have noted that there is a key noise. That's because... Here's the boss key. GTFO. And now, it's time to beat the dungeon. Yeah, the first dungeon's really short. It's not that hard, honestly. Because, I mean, you have three hearts. You're supposed to have three hearts at this point. And... Wallmasters? Wallmasters. And this is the spirit dude. Smash. You slash him a bunch, and then his head falls off, you throw that away. He's a pretty pathetic boss, and I'm losing to him. <laughs> That's... okay. I'm not used to playing like this. So in the last episode, when I sped things up, that caused a bunch of audio issues, so I'm never doing that again. So, I'm sorry, even if it's a scene that I really don't like, you're gonna have to watch it. Just just skip ahead on the video. <laughs> like I said, really simple boss. The fact that I was dying to him was embarrassing. Pick up his head, toss it over here. Slash him a couple times. Don't get hit like a doofus. And he's dead. And he drops a piece of heart. Or sorry, heart container. Which I will not pick up because I'm 3 hour challenging. And we get the first essence of time! The Eternal Spirit. Which you may notice looks like the dungeon. Even after life ends, it speaks across time to the heart. And then, this theme. And then you warp out of the dungeon because magic. Now you get to hear the tree talk. Yeah, the make a tree just like drops leaves and she's like, hey, hey, I can talk to you because I'm, I'm a freaking tree. It's, there's an essence in the western woods somewhere. Go there. She's kind of bossy. Oh boy, this is Maple. Maple, sorry. Maple shows up every. Uh, I forget how many. Ah, uh, I want that ring. Don't know, you stupid 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. What you, you have more stuff? No, you don't. I mean, you have a ring. That's not my ring, is it? No. Oh, oops. Buttons. There we go. No, it's not. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Let's see this lovely ghost. Yeah. So for doing that, this ghost gets to go to the afterlife now. And his heart lifts at the thought of it. Yeah. And he gives you the Poe Clock. Which... The Poe Clock is the beginning of the trading side quest. Oh boy. <laughs> Which I'm gonna do my best to do as much of that over time as possible. That is... Uh, Syrup the Witch's Hut. Which I can't get to because I can't swim! Because I'm a silly little Hylian boy and I don't know how to swim. Ugh. Oh, she took all my freaking ember seeds. That's what she took. Anyway, let's head out of here. Let's go this way. This is where, you know, we spawned. Hey, look, it's Tangle. And those are holes. Yeah, Tingle's in this game. He's not even optional. So, welcome back to town. <laughs> you don't sell anything much yet. Look, I wonder, I wonder if I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> He'll yell at you. I need my amber seeds. I didn't show this in the last episode. I showed it in one of my cuts. But this is an ember seed tree. Get more ember seeds. Incredibly obvious. Toss rock. This is the beach. This is more of the beach. Um, let's see here. More of the beach. Yeah, there's pretty much nothing here. It's important later. Sort of. Ooh, I know what I should do. Okay. This is the mayor's house, I think. I think. Yeah, this is the mayor. Look at this dude. Plen, the mayor. Yeah. It's kind of a freak. Can't get that treasure chest yet. I want that treasure chest. Even though I think all it has in it is like a gash of seed or something. So let's go over here real quick. To the joke telling people. They're really bad at telling jokes, by the way. Just just in case you couldn't tell. Ah uh, yes, the know it all birds hut. These are the tutorial room. It just they're the tutorial room, that's what they are. This is uh, Troy. He's he's a traveler dude. A terrifying monster that eats shields! Anyone who's played Zelda before should know what that is, but in case you don't, it is the terrifying, and not so really terrifying, like like. Although it is really kind of annoying in this game, because the shield is 30 rupees. Where is it? Oh, is it? Okay. This... is... What's his name? Bippin, yeah. He he makes Bippin and Blossom, yeah. They have a child. And now you get to help her choose a name. So, um, 
Oh, okay. If you don't enter anything, it doesn't do anything. I've never done that before, so I was just trusting. Sorry. What would be an appropriate name? Okay. <laughs> there. We'll just... Sure, why not? And... Yeah, they're kind of just like nuts. But you can actually, throughout the course of the game, help that child grow up. Which is kind of funny. But... At the same time, it's a little bit weird because you... He ha you have enough t you spend enough time here for him to grow up into a, like an actual like oh crap this is my first time here Sorry, I just... Okay. So this is Vasu. He does rings. Fuck, it's the friendship ring. I don't like the friendship ring. Ah, yes, the power ring. Yes. Alright. So, rings are essentially like little... Like, they're sort of like buffs, if that makes any sense at all. And this ring helps you find the spots to plant Gasha Seeds, but out of all these rings, I'm gonna take that, just because I don't feel like I'm gonna take that much damage, but if I do, I'll start, I'll take it off. But, anyway. So let's head to the Western Wood, and this lady does nothing. And in order to get to the Western Wood, you walk this way. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Octorok. Symmetry City. Symmetry City is way later. Da, 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 this is the Western Wood. This is going to be the first real dungeon here. Well, it, the first real dungeon is here. That's the real dungeon. However, uh, plot twist. Wow, that was perfect timing. <laughs> These are the fairies. These jerks screw up how the forest works until you find all three of them. Thankfully it does show you where they land, but... Oh, there goes one else. Whatever. So now you're supposed to go find them. Unfortunately... Oops. If you look at my map, I went from here to here. Yeah. They did this. They're kind of jerks. Oh, there's the first one. Here's the second one. <laughs> Fairy hunting. Do 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 do. I wish I had my Pegasus boots, even though I just for one. Now it's okay. Now they turn the forest back to normal, which is nice. And now we can actually go where we wanted to go, which is not there. It's right here. Ancient cave, beware, crumbles easily. Huh, that doesn't sound too bad. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're just like... They're... 
It was just the first time I played the game. I was just like, you really. Yes, I can't get inside. I didn't blast anything. I just. Yeah. It's just like, hey, go check in there's house. Just. Go do it. Anyway. I love this power ring. I really do. It's not one of the better rings, but what I'd really want is the red ring. The red ring is... what was that? Yeah, it should be the red ring. The red ring greatly boosts attack, and I don't believe it does anything to your damage. Of course, a better ring would probably be the red joy ring? No, blue joy ring. The joy rings are, they basically help you find things, and this is Impa again. She's feeling drafts! Yeah. It was, yeah. Time to meet the Hop of Ages. Also Nehru. Basically, she's saying you've got the Harp of Ages, and I don't know how the hell you got that, but I knew that something bad might happen, so here, have this magical thingy that lets you travel through time. And now, you know, the Tune of Echoes, or the Echoes, whatever, which allows you to open up time portals if I can open the right thing. This is the screen. Later you get other tunes. Just saying. There's three tunes. Sound familiar? Three goddesses. Guess what colors they are. Yes, I know. There's there's a time portal right next to me. I saw I saw it. God, this, tr this tree. Yes, it's the Harp of Ages. I I already got that. Let's time travel. Yeah. So those are time portals. Seeing those means you can travel through time with the echoes. Technically, I could have done that one, but this one's just closer. You may note that I can't go back there, though. So now my two echoes in vain. We're just gonna equip my shield. Because a good defense is a good offense. Here's another one, by the way. Let's all sing a stupid song, cause I don't know why I am doing this. Ah, there we go. Let's look at that. Let's plant our very first Gasha seed. In a while, that'll grow. I don't know the exact timing, but it'll grow. Just trust me. Get those out of the way. So, this is the past. So, the past has a very um, dimmed. Well, not dimmed. It's just a less colorful palette. And this is the Western Wood. Oh, and these bombs. I like bombs. Bombs are good. This guy's like, hey, I don't want to get in here, but I can't get in because there's a bunch of rock. Because freaking rocks. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll just... <laughs> and we're looking for... Now we're looking for the mystery seeds, which Ambi, also known as the frickin' queen, wants. Because Nehru wants them. Nehru, who is, you know, not really Nehru, but is actually Varen. And that's why I'm not talking to people, is because I already know the backstory. them down. Uh, 
I don't remember if this is a piece of heart or not. <sighs> Save state. Nope, it's a gacha seed. Okay. <laughs> You'll probably see me save state in front of chests a lot whenever I'm not sure if it's got a heart in it, because I I don't feel like accidentally screwing up everything. Just gonna carry this rock around. No big deal. NBD, bro. Stupid jerks. Yeah. Makes me miss the blue ring. Button. If that wasn't obvious, something's wrong. Um, these are whatever. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. I don't care about no stinky piece of art. Wrong path. Okay. Well, I should you to get a piece of art. <laughs> oh no. So I'm gonna try and beat this dungeon. I just have to, you know, actually manage. That's the wrong way. Moblins. Oh, look, you guys spawned over here this time. There we go. There's the right one. Damn it. There you are. This guy sells a shield for 50 rupees. You can buy it for 30. There are mystery seeds. This guy sells a shield for 30. <laughs> he gets mad at me because I don't have enough rupees. Which is funny, he doesn't even notice that I already have a shield. You can look at my friggin' inventory. Whatever. Whatever. So by this point, money. Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry. I just like treasure chest. It's gonna be. And yep. Nope. Okay. And now I have mystery seeds. And if I use them via seed satchel on this thing, he basically says, hey, mystery seeds, I'll give you hints. There's The owl statues are sort of a hint system. They're not exactly a hint system, but sort of. And now things can drop mystery seeds. And now, once I walk down this way a little bit... Cutscene! Somehow he just knows I have mystery seeds. I... I really don't... <laughs> now they take me to meet the queen. I'm going to be a, a queen. And apparently, we want to take the magic, the mystery seeds. Now he takes all my mystery seeds. Shows it to the queen. She's like, "Oh, yeah, these are mystery seeds." Now this guy like wanders off. He's like, "Get cack, I'll get it." I really love this theme. I, I forget if this is like the only time you get it, but yeah, yeah, bombs, yeah. I like how she says her palace is very large, 
and you won't be able to find the way out alone. It's like, it's a straight shot! <laughs> And there's Baron. Now he's just <laughs> taking advantage of people's kindness. She basically uses you a bunch, but... And she's like, mystery seats, lame. And now the day will never end. Because, you know, Varen's evil. Fade out. When the Black Tower reaches the heavens. Yeah, now we got bombs. Let's go blow some crap up. Oh, hold on. Bomb! Why there was a bomb there? Who knows? <laughs> there are like three bombs there. Hey look! This guy... Yeah. This guy gives you dash of seeds. He only gives you one, but... It's a free one. So, that's a gash tree. Sooner or later, that'll finish growing. And there'll be a nut there. Which, I will cut down. Also, Maple apparently has time travel. I... <laughs> I mean, I suppose possibly it's Syrup and not Maple, but... Came through this weird tunnel. Yeah! Taking all your stuff, Maple. What you gonna do about it? Make sure I hit the right button. <laughs> I have no idea how long this episode's been running. And Toss Bomb. Welcome to Dungeon 2, the Wing Dungeon. Which actually, this is probably a good point to stop. So, I will see everybody next time.